My name's Parker. I like printing t-shirts, kind of a hobby thing, and I want to teach you how to print a t-shirt with your own custom design for as little money as possible. Come with me. For your supplies, you'll need a t-shirt you want to print, an embroidery hoop, matte Mod Podge blue painter's tape and paint brushes, organza fabric, and a design that you want to print. Additionally, it would be useful if you had screen printing ink and a squeegee for pushing the ink around the screen later. Now that we have all our supplies assembled, the next step is to get a design that you want to use. For the first time, I'd recommend something monochromatic and with big blocks, not too many small lines. I've chosen this one here. Cut out a square of organza that's slightly larger than the embroidery hoop you want to use. Stretch it across the organza until there are as few ripples as possible. Now comes the fun part. I have my design right here. Obviously not all of it, since I can't fit it on an 85 by 11 but I trust my drawing powers. Take the screen and put it face down on your design, aligning it so that the whole of the design will be able to fit. Now if you recall, there were triangles down here at the bottom when I showed you the picture earlier, so I'm going to leave space for them here and now. Take a number two pencil, preferably not mechanical because it'll just rip the organza, and then start tracing around the design. Now that we have the full design here, we're going to flip the screen over, grab your Mod Podge and your paint brushes, and get to work tracing over everywhere you don't want the ink to go. And just like that, we are finished. Now you can see the glue only exists where I do not want the ink to go. Notice this blue painter's tape here. This helps me not have to glue all of the screen, and I'd recommend you do something like that. You can do any kind of tape as long as it sticks on the screen, and it's good for blocking out large areas that you don't want the glue to go. All right, here we have our shirt that we're going to use, and you can see I've placed a bit of wood in between the two sides of the shirt. That'll keep the ink from going through to the back and staining the wrong side. Take the finished screen and place it on the shirt where you want to print it. Make sure that the board is in between and not, not anywhere off the actual design area. This is a time when you would call for someone to help you. Me? I'm just going to stick these big heavy books. That'll keep it from moving around. Now you take your screen printing ink. This is Versatex. I've also used Speedball. Take a knife and a squeegee. You can use a credit card, business card, preferably not something that you don't mind getting a little paint on. Using the knife, scoop some ink onto the screen, and then using your flat object, your squeegee if you have one, spread the ink all around, making sure to cover all parts of your design so as to leave nothing unprinted. When you're done, remove the books very carefully so as not to smear the ink, Carefully lift the screen off the shirt straight away without movement. We're done, right? Almost. Next step is you take a dry iron and you run it over the shirt with a paper bag in between, uh, you know, a layer of paper. That heat sets the ink so that it'll resist washing. There you go. That's it. I hope this was helpful to you and I hope that you have as much fun printing shirts as I do. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will respond. And until next time, see ya.